savoury into sweet with this classic pumpkin pie. To make the dough, pulse the flour, caster sugar and chopped butter until the mixture's like breadcrumbs. Add the egg and cold water and process again until it forms a dough. Turn it out onto a lightly floured surface and knead until smooth. Now divide the dough into two pieces, one slightly bigger than the other. Wrap both in plastic and chill for 20 minutes. Cover de-seeded and chopped pumpkin with cold water and bring to the boil. Let it simmer for 10 minutes or until the pumpkin is soft. Drain and return to the hot pan to dry. Process the pumpkin until smooth, then set aside to cool. While your oven is preheating to 180 degrees Celsius, roll out the larger piece of pastry until it'll fit into a greased 20 centimetre pie tin. Trim the excess pastry, then prick the base five times with a fork. Put it into the fridge to chill for 10 minutes. Then line it with baking paper and fill with baking beads or raw rice. These help to keep the pastry in shape while it cooks and it's called blind baking. Bake it for about 15 minutes until the pastry turns a light golden colour. Remove the beads and paper and bake for a further 10 minutes until just cooked. Combine the pumpkin puree, caster sugar and brown sugar, salt, cinnamon, ground ginger, nutmeg, ground cloves or allspice. Stir over medium heat until the mixture comes to the boil. Then reduce the heat and simmer for 5 minutes until the mixture thickens slightly. Then transfer to a bowl to cool. Stir in the cream, whisked eggs and vanilla extract, then pour it gently into the pie shell. To finish the pie topping, roll out the remaining pastry. Then cut flower shapes from the dough using a small cutter. Brush the edges with whisked egg and arrange around the pie. Brush the tops with more egg and bake for 45 minutes until the mixture is just set. Transfer to a wire rack to cool for 10 minutes before serving. When you're ready to serve, dollop on some fresh cream, dust with extra cinnamon and watch your guests tuck in.